so dear students in this lecture we will uh, discuss some numericals uh, related to conversion of a transfer function uh, to a particular canonical form so let us take an example uh, in this example we have to obtain the companion forms of the transfer function which is given here this transfer function and we have to obtain the different companion forms so there are two types of companion forms uh, basically there are actually three types but since we will be doing two types so we have first companion form and then we have second companion form right so the first companion form is also known as controllable canonical form and second companion form is also known as observable canonical form so our objective is to convert this transfer function into a proper state space form using the uh, companion form conversion technique so let us take up the example and try to understand the concept so uh, first of all we will solve the given uh, numerical given example using the controllable canonical form we know that uh, the transfer function of a discrete time system linear time invariant discrete time system is given by this equation which is given here and this is uh, the m is basically the order of the numerator of this transfer function and n is the denominator order of the denominator of this transfer function uh, in general m is uh, either less than equal less than n or it is equal to n it shall not be greater than n let us say this is equation number one now if let us say m is equal to n so if m is equal to n the required uh, uh, matrices of this transfer function are given as uh, so as we have seen our in our previous lecture so the required matrices of uh, the state space model of the given transfer function which is given by equation one are given here we have f matrix we have g matrix c matrix and then we have d matrix right so our purpose is to obtain these matrices uh, for the given transfer function so the given transfer function is this which is given in the statement of the numerical this is for example equation number two and since here if you see the order of the numerator is two and the order of denominator is also two right so we can say that uh, the order of the numerator is m and order of denominator is n so m is equal to n is equal to 2 so this is a second order system and for a second order system the standard uh, you know transfer function is this one okay so what, how did we get this one so we have simply uh, uh, you know we have this equation here so m and n are same so we have put m and n is equal to 2 and we have obtained the equation here this one right so this is let us equation number 3 now in this equation if you see and we have equation number 2 if we compare equation number 2 and 3 so on comparing the equation number 2 and 3 we get uh, beta naught is equal to 3 beta 1 is equal to minus 1 and beta 2 is equal to minus 3 similarly we have uh, we can uh, obtain alphas also by comparing equation 3 with 2 and alpha 1 here is uh, 1 by 3 alpha 2 is uh, minus 2 by 3 so we have got all these coefficients right so now <coughs> uh, now we have these coefficients now what we will do is because we have to obtain this uh, form we have to obtain the state space model of the given transfer function using controllable canonical form so uh, for this transfer function because this is second order transfer function for second order transfer function the required matrices f g c and d are given here so we will simply substitute the values of these alphas and betas here in these uh, matrices and we'll get the required matrices so uh, 
so if we put the values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 so f is equal to uh, 0 1 uh, minus of minus 2 by 3 that is 2 by 3 and minus of 1 by 3 that is minus 1 by 3 right similarly the g matrix will be same it is constant matrix 0 and 1 and then c matrix will be obtained by putting the required values so we have minus 3 and so this is minus 3 and minus alpha 2 is minus 2 by 3 into beta naught is 3 right and similarly we have this beta 1 and alpha 1 so beta 1 is minus 1 minus and alpha 1 is 1 by 3 into beta node that is 3 right so this matrix is minus 3 minus minus plus 3 and 3 is cancelled out here so this is plus 2 and similarly here when minus 1 and minus this and this is cancelled out so minus 1 so this is equal to 1 minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 and minus 2 right Similarly, D matrix is beta naught. This is equal to beta naught. So beta naught is 3. So this is how we can get the required matrices. And hence, the required state space form is, and the required state space form is xk plus 1 is equal to f of xk. So it is 0, 1, 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3 xk plus 0 1 uk and output equation is yk is equal to c matrix and c matrix is minus 1 minus 2 xk and plus 3 uk that is d d is 3 here right so this is the required state space model of the transfer function given by equation number 2 now this model has been obtained by comparing the given second order transfer function with the second order standard transfer function and obtaining the required values of alphas and betas and then substituting these values into the matrices F, G, C and D for this second order system and obtaining these well these matrices and putting these matrices into the standard state space form we will see how we can obtain the state space model of the same transfer function second order transfer function using observable canonical form that is the second companion so in this we will simply try to understand this with the uh, first technique that is simply comparing uh, the element of the given transfer function to the sec standard second order transfer function. Okay, so the required uh, matrices of uh, state space model through observable canonical form are given here F matrix, G matrix, C matrix and D matrix, right? Now, because it is a second order system. So for a second order system, the standard uh, transfer function is given here and we'll compare. So on comparing these values, uh, you know, this is the equation number two, and then we have this one. So uh, we get beta naught is equal to three, beta one is equal to minus one, beta two is equal to minus three, and simply alpha one is equal to one by three, and alpha two is equal to minus two by three, right? So we'll simply put the values in the matrices. The required state space model is this and the required matrices of a second order transfer function are these so we will simply put the values here so the matrices f the f matrix will be equal to 0 and 1 and alpha 2 uh, is so alpha 2 is uh, minus of minus 2 by 3 and alpha 1 is minus 1 by 3. So this is 0, 1, 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3, right? Similarly, G matrix is, so this is minus 1 and minus 2 and UK or even RK also, right? And YK is equal to 
c matrix 0 and 1 x k and plus 3 u k so this is the required state says form which is obtained through observable canonical form and this is how we can solve the numerical based on controllable and observable canonical form and this is it for, for today's lecture and thank you so much